YouTubers and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna do a brief review of the Adidas Duramo 10 Lightspeed. So this is the shoe. Uh, I got this shoe about a little over a month ago. Um, and I've ran, today I've run about 100 miles in this shoe, maybe a little bit more than 100 miles. And I find it very comfortable. It's a, it's a budget shoe, so it's not a very expensive shoe. I picked this up for 90 euros in Ireland. Um, I think, I, I, just before I come on to record this video, you can actually get it for 75 euros now. Obviously not the best shoe in the world, but in terms of doing your easy runs or your kind of really light, low speed, no intensity runs during the week, this is a fantastic shoe for getting that done. Um, running shoes can be quite expensive. Before buying this, I was using the Ultra Boost, and they, they retail at about 180 to 190 euros in Ireland. Again, sometimes you can get them on cheaper websites, but for the most part, about double the price of what this shoe is. Um, my first impression with this shoe are pretty good. I, it, very comfortable right off the bat, so obviously I wouldn't have bought it if it wasn't comfortable. The number one thing to do when you're buying uh, running shoes is try on a couple of different pairs and make sure it's comfortable, and the one that's comfortable is probably the one that's gonna do you the most good. So this shoe was very comfortable for me. Um, it's got a pretty, Pretty high sole, so that's good. I like to have a little bit of high sole. I used to run on Hocus for quite a while. I kind of went off the Hocus at the moment. I might try the Clifton's again, but at the moment I'm running in Adidas shoes. My last two shoes before this have been two pairs of Ultra Boost. The first time I had Ultra Boost were absolutely fantastic, and I bought a second pair, and they didn't turn out to be quite as good as I thought the initial pair were. So I tried to um, switch it up a little bit, and I went for this Duramo Speed, um, and I find it really good, yeah. The thing you'll notice first is when you're running, it is quite a, quite a lot of comfort in it, but the, so, the, the foam in the shoe obviously wouldn't be as good as the Ultra Boost. And then when I race, I wear the Nike Vaporfly Next Percent, and obviously it's not comparing the same two things because they're two different things. There's no carbon stall on this. But like I said, there is a pretty good stack height. There is a lot of comfort in the shoe. The one thing that I do notice, the kind of little downfall that you might get is right across the midfoot here, like just cross from coming on here. So when I land with my heel strike, as I come through the foot, it's all very comfortable. But when I'm having the toe off phase, I always find a, a tiny, I wouldn't say a bit of discomfort, but I'm aware of, of, of uh, less spring across this part of the midfoot. And I think that's just a symptom of us all running in carbon shoes for the last kind of couple of years. I don't think I would have noticed that or would have complained about it if it was like three years ago when we weren't wearing carbon shoes. But the carbon sole with the um, with the P-Bax foam has kind of altered my running gait. Therefore, when I run in this shoe, I, I, I'm just aware, a, a very slight awareness that something has gone on. The comfort is lost coming across the midsole. But for the most part, this is an excellent little shoe. Uh, like I said, fantastic in terms of uh, um, price because it is a very... Um, budget and the shoe, really good. Like I said, if you're just doing some easy runs during the week and you just want to get out and just do your like your five mile up to 10k, or, like I said, the shoe I was wearing before that was the Ultra Boost. And in terms of uh, weight, the um, Duramo is a little bit lighter than the Ultra Boost, so definitely better for the um, for those like easy runs during the week. I don't think I would do any major workout with this shoe. I might do a little couple of intervals, but if I was gonna do some longer and faster intervals, I would probably switch to a better shoe. I might do them myself in my uh, Nike Next Percent um, 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 Vaporflies, or try one of the other shoes that I have in my arsenal of shoes. But like I said, overall, this is a fantastic little shoe for the price and for the um, comfort that it supplies with that price. Um, the Ultra Boost shoe has the Continental sole. That's, that's something that I really liked in the previous ones when I had them. This doesn't have the Continental sole, but the sole is just an Adidas kind of a generic sole. I run most days in the exact same track. Uh, I run around Malhide Castle. I probably do about 90% of my running in there. I know the road, I know the track, I know the grass, I know the place inside out. So the chance of me ever slipping when I'm running are, are almost minimal. So I don't really have to worry about the sole on this. But um, overall, this is a fantastic little shoe and uh, something that you should definitely think about if you're doing high mileage and you just want a shoe for kind of easy runs during the week, this is probably a good shoe to, to check out. Anyway, thanks for watching that guys. I hope it made some sense. I hope it made some uh, people think about switching their shoe up and get some budget end shoes. Anyway, remember, run far, run fast, most of all, run sensible.